Since Poiti Tulo and film and TV star Anton Jefter began being seen together, they have kept the public in suspense as to where exactly their friendship stands. Maybe this private New Year safari will clear up the wild rumors. So I'm Poiti Tulo, and today I'll be exploring Wondoro Safari Lodge with my one and only bestie, Anton Jefter. The How are you doing? My choy me. I'm just excited about these little caps that we got here. Yeah, you're such Look a cap this. person. Anyway, so first impressions of the the lodge. For me, one of the first things is the fact that it's outstanding. Mm. I've been to lodges. Um, I travel a lot, but this one, I think, the stand on point is the fact that you can see all the animals yeah. from literally every part of the lodge. Mm. You know, and it's very open. I like the space. It's yeah. Like literally 500 zebra. Exactly. Outside our window. We That's probably the most zebras I've ever seen. Yeah. And they all come out here. Yeah. And then, apart from that, I think the lodge is so modern. It's very contemporary. This room alone is like the size of. It's a house. Yeah. And the lounge is huge. Mm. Like it's spacious. It's perfect. From becoming hot television property in a local telenovela, this finance management graduate is now landing better and better parts in Hollywood films and, of course, moving in serious entertainment circles. What makes this friendship work? I guess, I, I think for me personally, we just get along very easily. Yeah. Uh, it's been like that from day one. You know, I think we had similar interests as well. Firstly, we both in the entertainment industry. Um, it wasn't too long before we found out that we both like exactly the same type of music. Yeah. We just break out into song. I think we also get um, each other's humor. Yeah. A lot, like um, for some people, I think sometimes our humor could be a little bit off or slightly yeah, offensive or whatever. Yeah, sometimes we do some inside jokes and yeah. people are like, just like crickets around us, but yeah. we find it like very, very funny. Yeah, and it's actually very rare to find someone who literally gets like the small things yeah. that you are just like, oh, you got that? Yeah. That is, yeah. The so. jokes are in those small, subtle moments that are usually lost. Yeah. It's the big things they were here to see. And for Boiti, the white rhino has the biggest star power. I am looking forward to the rest, I think. Besides, obviously, like getting to explore all of this. I think also the rhino tracking. Yeah. We don't get to see a lot of rhinos. Yeah. It's fire drive. That's going to be really cool. Yeah, it's going to be cool. Yeah. The reserve boasts the world's largest concentration of endangered white rhino on private land. The renowned local anti-poaching unit ensuring they can be seen in their full glory. So awesome. The black rhino, a little bit smaller than the white rhino. Um, they also browse as they feed on leaves and branches where the white rhino is always with the head down, mm. grazing on grass. The majority of other game reserves, they dehorn their rhinos that minimize the temptation and the risk of them getting poached. Um, but in this area, because they do such an exceptional job, um, they, they keep the rhinos with their horns naturally. Being in a place where that fight to protect our heritage is being won gave the first welcome sense that things could be good this year. You guys ready for your bush coffee? I yes. am. Come on. I'm thoroughly ready. While, while being on lion lookout. <laughs> yeah, I feel very exposed out here yeah, in the middle of the bush. Well, it's actually my first time in this side of the world. Okay. Yeah. Out in on a safari of this nature. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've been to the other ones like closer to Cape Town All right. in the past, but this is my first time. Like, is this the northwest? No. Yes, northwestern area. Are we yeah. in the northwest? Are we in Limpopo province? Oh, Limpopo. But, uh, okay. We're kind of in the northwestern part of the country. Yes. Yeah, so. Fans of Miss Tulo's reality TV show saw just how much she travels for business, but pleasure too. So I really enjoy traveling. It's um, something that I feel like um, allows me the space to actually be with me and also at the same time get to obviously explore the world. So it makes a lot of sense for me. And um, with everything that I do, rest is like so incredibly crucial. Um, there's so much on my plate. I wear so many hats. Um, there's the entrepreneur side, there's the music. I think being in spaces like this and finding moments for me to just, I don't know, be is so important. I don't like the fact that people romanticize or glamorize hard work and being like, 
working every day and sweating and uh, I think that's that's unhealthy and it's, it's it's not something that I try and put out there that women should be working all the time it's crucial to have like a, a very good balance in 2021 she took best female artist at the SA hip hop awards and for 2022 in terms of everything that's happening in my space right now like I I'm one of those people that never plan like anything beyond three months to be quite honest but at the moment definitely the music space um, I'm still thoroughly growing in that um, taking a little, little bit of a different route into the Mapiano space um, yeah and I'm also moving more into like the the digital space like NFTs and crypto like things that are making sense at the moment um, um, things that are are growing rapidly. On top of her game with 5.2 million Instagram followers, we had a question for Miss T. What I would say to younger boy T, who is just starting out in the industry, sure, I'd say be patient. Your dreams are going to come true and the seeking validation process that you're going through, it's okay. Don't beat yourself up about it. Um, it's, you'll get through it and you get to the other side of where you're meant to be. So be patient. There's resting, then there's resting with this as your backdrop. I think it's it's special. Yeah. It's incredible. Nothing says unplug more like 30 buffaloes in front of you. Right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and it's nice to do it with a friend. It is. So nice to do it with Thanks a friend. Thanks for agreeing. Yeah, of course. You're welcome. <laughs> That's funny. Anton's new film, Eraser, is due out this year. And any vows for this January? By which we mean resolutions. I guess this is something that we talk about often. We talk about um, New Year's resolutions. For the year 2022, um, my resolution to a certain extent would be to start kind of expanding beyond home and kind of start spreading my wings and, you know, getting my footprints into the rest of Africa and into the US and to Europe, whether it's with my music or fashion or my entrepreneurship, etc. Right. I feel like, you know, South Africa has given me so much for me to work with in order to move forward into the rest of the world. Yeah. And you? Um, yeah, same as you. I think I'd like to move around more, go back and forth between here and LA, yeah. um, expand on you know, getting or being involved in bigger budget films, bigger budget productions. Yeah. Also continue to grow the entrepreneurial side of things with what I have going on already. I think one of the things that I really admire about you, especially with you having gone to uh, like the US and gone there for like so many years, just being able to do it. I've always believed that there's a danger in comfort. So I try to live between the precipice of success and failure all the time yeah. and with that is like a high risk lifestyle because you never know if you're going to make it wherever you go to but you just got to take a chance 100%. leap and that's and not easy it's easier said yeah. than that yeah taking the lodge's tunnel down to this hide on the waterhole brought them uniquely eye to eye with the game very cool way to see it all yeah it's amazing to see the buffaloes the impalas zebras warthogs Actually, I didn't realize the spot is this intimate with them. I think. They know. Yeah. Got a hard kick there. I heard that. Mm. What Boiti had been holding out for was the chance to track a 2,000 kilogram white rhino on foot without the boundaries of a vehicle. All right, guys, so obviously being out on foot is different than being inside the vehicle and there is rules that we need to be conscious of at all stages. Um, number one rule out in the bushes, does not matter what circumstance may arise, we never ever run, we always stand our ground. Second rule is, please obey instructions. Today we'll also be looking out for rhino tracks, so we're listening out for sounds, so we can talk, but then we stop, and then we interpret, etc. all right. So we're first gonna make our way to that dead tree over there. And then we'll analyze the situation. We'll see what she's doing. Tracking them like this revealed their vulnerability and why we should all do our bit to protect them. They're really, they're almost blind. Oh, really? Really, they have very 
Yes, they put eyes on But obviously they hear really well. They can hear very well. Does it get worse the older they get? Actually, the baby's taken. The, the mom is always with her head down, feeding yeah. her girl, so she's looking into the sun. The baby can still kind of lift yeah. its head up, so they can see better 100%. Evening brought with it a return to the traditional roots of community round a campfire and the origins of entertainment. So this is a great... It was outstanding. Right? It was so cool. I think it was everything we needed um, just to unplug, unwind, and enjoy like an authentic South African uh, safari lodge-like experience. Yeah. Yeah. Us being on set, traveling, doing all the lives that we do can be very grueling. I think also it was a great way to start the year. Yeah. Yeah. I love you. I love him as he is with his two left or right feet, whatever. Okay. Anyway, to more traveling. To more traveling. Thank you for joining me on my journey. Thanks for the invitation. Yeah. I'm glad I RSVP'd on time. Well done. Yeah. Good. Bad places to be, but I'm glad I could be here with you. <laughs> you could have been anywhere in the, the world, world. But I'm here with you. To more traveling as besties. As besties. In true fashion. It's fantastic. I love being friend zoned. Oh. Cheers to that. <laughs> Cheers to all of that. We left the besties to dinner for two. And on that question of their relationship status, you be the judge. That's the Insider Essay. This Monday evening at 5.30. Repeat Saturday at 1 on S3.